Hello everybody, this is Fallout 4. As always, I'm your host, Falmunction. I hope you're relaxed. You know, got your uh, snacks and whatever. Because now, we're going to explore right here, this whole town. Run. Get ready for a lot of talking, probably. Touch, we'll see. You should think about getting a trim. Uh, yeah, let's let's do this. There are actually more yeah, well, haircuts color. in the huh? game. Sit down. Let's take a look. There are more haircuts in the game than uh, at the beginning of, were available. Uh, and it makes sense because in 2077 America, you know, there's a different. Uh, they have a different. Uh, sensibility I guess and the real extreme haircuts you'd rather see up here so let's see here that's a new one Geiger countered rad rage oh wow I don't remember all of them but if one sticks out to me I'll tell you I was actually oh yeah that's certainly a new one Actually, yeah, do this. When I started playing the game, I was actually a little bit, uh, what's the word, like, uh, disappointed, I guess, because I didn't see any longer hair options. But maybe now. It's not normal, pretty much. That's mine. Casual Kempt. No Easter. Kemp friendly. Uh, that's a little bit too much, I'm afraid. Oh, that's even worse. Drag out. We've seen that, we've seen that. This anti here on you? It's longer, but I don't know. Beatnik. That's it. Uh, I think I'll stick with my old one, possibly, or camp friendly, maybe. Hmm, I'm not sure. Maybe casual kempt. It's actually more or less my hairstyle, the one I have. You know what? I think I'll actually just get shaved. Because <laughs> I'm thinking... It's like going back to... Society, kind of. Uh... I changed my mind actually. Let him get the. Uh, shaggy Suave. I think that suits him. Okay, we're done here. Accept. Enter. Oh, there we go. We got hairstyles for days. <laughs> Weeks, even. <laughs> Thank you. Don't need anything today. Some other time? Well, I've already had one. What's your deal? Hey there. You there. Talk some sense into my net worth son. McDonough's secretary, is she a cent? Uh... I haven't met her yet. No idea. You don't know? What? Born without a brain between your ears? You just said wow. that no one could tell the difference, Ma. <laughs> we don't know if Geneva's a cent, and neither do you. So could you lay off? Don't you it's talk a point. to your mother that way, Johnny? Yeah, <laughs> maybe we should shave off all your hair. I'm kidding, I'm kidding. Unless that's what you want, of course. Customer's always right. <laughs> Thanks. You don't need anything today. Okay, you take care. Okay, so that's that done. If you're heading outside the wall, you might want to stock up at Commonwealth Weaponry first. 
Yeah, good point. I was gonna go down here though, Fallon's basement. Here we go, we've met uh, her. Hello. Have you been here before? Mm, no, why would I be? Nope, first time. Thought so. Some ground rules. This isn't a charity. Clothes are for sale if you have the money. Otherwise, the door's right there. Why would I not? Okay. You have some kind of problem with shoplifters? Nothing me and my 10 gauge haven't been able to handle. Now that we understand each other, <laughs> welcome to Fallon's. Happy to show you everything in stock. All these people, so nice and friendly. Uh... Fallon's Basement. Interesting name. Yeah, it's ancient. There was a Fallon's here back even before the war. Granddad always said we had a tradition of quality and affordability. Guess affordability got too expensive for some folks. Damn thieves. And it ain't like Diamond City security helps. Hmm. You don't say. Why doesn't Diamond City Security help you? <sighs> My husband got taken, all right, hmm. by the Institute. Security wouldn't look into it. I raised a stink, and now I'm blacklisted. Okay. Your husband was taken by the Institute? Well, he ain't here anymore, that's for sure. Not like the Institute leaves a trail besides those damn synths. Uh, I mean, I know what a synth is, but... I feel there's no other way of, you know, continuing the line of, of questioning. It's kind of why I don't like this whole dialogue system. What's a synth? You're joking, right? A synth. Those machine people the Institute builds. Some of them even look human. Enough you wouldn't know the difference. Lucky me, huh? The Institute takes my Charlie and doesn't even bother replacing him. <laughs> okay, I guess I can't keep going here. I'll take a look. Let's see what she has. Okay, and customer. Finally. All right. Uh, so, got a baseball uniform. Okay. Um, chest pieces. Hmm. Ooh, a hazmat suit. No, now we're talking. I think we definitely need one of those. Definitely. What else is here? Leather left leg. Military cap. Uh, isn't that? Yeah, there's a way of inspecting it. Oh, it's a beret. That's fine. We already have a mining helmet of our own. Um, what else, what else, what else? Hmm. I think I'll just buy these shotgun shells and be on my way. Except... There we go. All these mannequins everywhere. It's freaking me out. All right, all right, all right. Getting to know people, getting to know people. And, uh... You then! You need a genuine, authentic, custom-made hickory swatter. Okay, why would... He's running a baseball shop? What's a swatter? <laughs> rookie, eh? A swatter, my friend, is a Diamond City tradition. See, it used to be that this whole place was a stadium. And two teams would meet and play a game called baseball. One team would beat the other team to death with these things <laughs> called baseball bats. And, what? And the best bats were called swatters. True fact. <laughs> oh, that's so fallout. Oh my god. Um, but my character is more like a... 
maybe not know it all, but I don't know. He's more like he would be somebody to. I'm talking baseball here. Show some respect. <laughs> He'd be one of the, those guys who would have people know what when they're you know misunderstanding something. Look, dumbass, that's not how baseball was played. That right, Mister Smarty Pants? Hey, if you're such an expert, how do you think it was played? I wasn't gonna say smart ass. Uh oh, nice. You could actually tell him it was even more violent. That's funny. Um, he doesn't. He's not a, like a sporty type, but I'm gonna tell him about the culture. I guess it was America's pastime, a sport that united families on warm summer days, and it wasn't violent. Uh, mostly. <laughs> I like my version better. Now, <laughs> can I interest you in these genuine, authentic, custom-made hickory swatters? Ah, okay, so he's. All right, cool. He's selling uh, melee Feel weapons. Hmm? Yeah, all right. That's pretty cool. Baseball grenade. Oh man, that's cool. Uh, there's a batting helmet too, as well. Oh, these are sweet. Oh, nice. That's beautiful. I guess that's like... Let me inspect those, actually. Ooh, boy. That thing should should hurt plenty. And this one... Holy shit! <laughs> but then again, it's not very effective because that'll just, you know... You're just gonna jam it into somebody's head and not being, be able to pick it up. Uh, just a... Uh, Pull it back out, you know. Uh, what else? What else? You can actually buy like shipments that should go to one of your settlements, I guess. That's pretty cool. These are really nice, but like the speed is slow, and I think with my um, come on, shock baton, it's at medium, and that kind of fell pretty slow to me so I think I won't want these even though like shock baton has 21 in damage and those are have like 40 but still I think I'm okay with with what I hey, have Mo. here but you to pick up a swatter right I was looking for a quest as well got any if you work? can well if you want to help the sport I got to leave on a stash of pre-war collector's items. Coach, quitting is for punks western in a state not too far from here. <laughs> Legend says when he retired, the league presented him with a baseball, catcher's mitt, and playing card signed by all the other coaches. See where I'm going with this? I'll pay 100 caps each for those relics. What do you say? 100 each. That sounds good, but it's yellow, so I gotta try at least. 100 caps seems light. I need more. You think you can play Damn me it. for a sucker? 100 caps a piece, and that's it. Take it or leave it. Okay, okay. A card, a mitt, and a ball. Got it. I thank you. And baseball thanks you. <laughs> Uh, somewhere, somewhere I know this voice. Don't walk outside the wall undefended. High quality protection uh. for sale. <laughs> oh, nice. He's. I think I might have heard his voice from The Simpsons Remember, somewhere. Swatters will win you the game. The game of beating people so up with bats. Thirsty. Oh. Doctor says I can't drink liquor no more. Cola. Need a new Coca Cola. There really is like. A new guy every two feet. Sheffield. Need a drink. I think I have Cola. some Nuka Cola. Oh, I guess not. No sense allowed here. No guy. And here's. Right? Um. Yes. The new guy. Word kind of travels fast in Diamond City. What can I say? Name's Arturo Rodriguez. If you need protection, let's talk. Ah. 
Hola Arturo. So you know weapons, huh? Listen, I can sell you guns, swords, whatever, Ooh. and they'll keep you alive for sure. But the real secret is in the mods. Now we're talking. Touches, install a scope, expand the clip size, whatever. You spend time with your gear, and you'll have the right answer to every problem. Anyway, let's get back to you and what kind of protection you need. Yeah, let me show you what you look. got. Sure. Self-defense at its best. So, what, we, what do we have here? <laughs> uh, that, my friends, is a uh, mini nuke launcher. <laughs> Holy shit. Yeah, but it's also 16,000 caps, so... Yeah. Oh, he also has... Ah, cool. He has, um... Armor 2, okay. Alright folks, we're back. Uh, look at all the stuff I bought. I decked myself out in a sweet array of uh, armor pieces. Basically, you stick all these things together, like uh, the thing, the layer underneath is um, road leathers, then you have uh, stuff for the shoulders, for the knee. Uh, protectors, etc, etc. So that's pretty cool. And we got some new weapons. Look at this beauty. This is the uh, serrated machete. Love it. Nice. Uh, does a whole lot more damage than my uh, shock baton. Uh, we also have... Let's see. I've actually bought... Fix you up. Thanks. <laughs> I've actually bought another weapon and uh, um, disassembled it so I could use the uh, suppressor on my sniper rifle. Pretty fucking awesome. Okay, so that's um, Arturo uh, done with. Uh, let's have a look over here. Diamond City Surplus. What's the big deal? Lady, what do you mean? Why? Because I don't know you, and I will not serve a synth pretending to be human. So are you human? What do you mean? Why would I be a synth? Uh, human as the day I was born. Well, you do look human enough. But I'll be watching you. I have eyes like a... Well, they're good eyes. Got it? <laughs> Alright, we can do business, but no funny stuff. I don't like her. <laughs> um, you can't be, you know, so paranoid that you got? just assume just everybody is a reptilian or whatever. So yeah, she's the one that actually um, runs the shop at day. We are talking to her, uh, uh, to her um, what's it called, uh, to her robot assistant at night. Which is pretty cool. Uh, I might actually buy this thing. This this looks pretty awesome. Way better than our other ten millimeter. That's twenty one, and uh, actually, that's also twenty one. <laughs> looks way cooler though. Head trigger means it has a much higher firing rate, which I don't know if I want. But then again, you can just, um, uh, you know, just use the the weapons bench and just remove the hair trigger if you don't want that. But I think we're okay here. We're talking to her, her um, robot more than enough. Who else have we talked to here? Okay. Everything you could need. Medics, mentats, whatever. <laughs> A friendly neighborhood drug dealer. Did you say something about drugs? That's right. All <laughs> the chems you need to fill out your lifestyle. Balance you out. Everyone here buys from me. Sometimes security needs a little psycho, or an engineer needs some mentats. And heck, 
Rad X is playing Universal. So he's like the doctor around here. Uh, let's see I've what he has. Minutes to browse. Check it out. <laughs> okay, he actually does have some stuff here. Uh, actually, the right away whip might be important, or the Stimpex, but I don't think. Yeah, we have no more, no nowhere near enough money for that. Uh, but good thing we know where we get that sort of stuff. Okay, and here's the actual doctor. Okay. A new file to open. Do you have a legitimate medical concern, or is this about a facial reconstructive services? Facial reconstruction makes me curious. Facial reconstruction? What's that? Uh, it's Doc Crocker's specialty. If you're interested, talk to him about that it. guy. <laughs> he was admiring him. my. No, if you have an actual medical problem, speak up. He was admiring my uh, cranium <laughs> at the bar. So that's maybe like Doctor Frankenstein. Uh, I think. I need some supplies, Doctor. I just want to see what he has in stock. Pretty much the same thing as the other guy. Well, short syringe rifle. What does that do? Uh, inspect, please. This looks pretty sweet. Maybe you can use, like, uh, sleeping agents on people? Then you murder them when they're down or something? This looks awesome. Yeah, but we don't have any business here. Thanks, though. So I'm thinking... Oh! Did hey, we get a look at... Got plenty of ramen meat on the hooks. She was one of the. Well, <laughs> she's a girl, uh, woman. Uh, she was really rude to me earlier. Uh, I've got a few minutes. She's to browse. Got... as fresh as it can be. She's the grub, and uh, she's not lying. Might want to buy the tater. It's really expensive though, holy shit. I think I'll just pick it on the way somewhere. Uh, my barter skill isn't that great, just so you know. Yeah, we've seen everything now, except for... What does he have to hide? Well, for the hard questions. her Watch place. Right you. Yeah, <laughs> you watch yours, kid. We haven't been up here yet, so um, I promise I'll make it quick. Hey, ain't no shame in taking the occasional camp. Solomon can hook you up. Okay, if you say so. This is what I like about you, Wellingham. You know what you are. Oh, oops. I didn't want to do that. Sorry about that. Uh, it's the wrong way anyway. Going this way. Oh, that's still the wrong way. Thank you. Oh, they're talking over here. I may have Hello. Been programmed to serve, but in your case, I shall do so disdainfully. What? Let me know when you're ready to order. Who programmed you to be such a dick? What's going no on? No problem. No problem at all. My programming dictates that I serve all customers in the Colonial Tap House. Even those that obviously don't belong. Just know that my sensors indicate that you have dangerously low levels of class for this establishment. Well, fuck you, C3P douche. I'm not gonna buy anything from you. A prudent decision. Yeah, get out of my way. Who are you? Oh, I don't object to you outsiders coming up. Here, but must you insist on speaking to me? Malcolm Latimer. He has the. He's obviously um, the same voice actor as uh, Lee in Walking Dead game. Excuse me. You bore me. That's all there is to it. Okay. You really are hard to get rid of. That's the direct approach. 
Go away. He uh, also showed up in Fallout New Vegas. He was uh, a caravan leader for the Honest Hearts DLC. Aye, just remain quiet while you're up here. We get enough noise from the riffraff down below. He really doesn't want to talk to me. You belong down in the lower section of the city. It's more suitable for those lacking in ambition. More nice try. <clears throat> Just remain quiet while you're up here. Yeah, he's we get enough feeding anyway, so down below. You don't even deserve my time. Oh, low life coming to drink with us, you know what? Fuck off, Wellingham. If that is your real name. Nothing to see here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, there's the way to the mayor. Okay. Call elevator button. Oh, sweet. Let's get up here. Somebody called the uh, mayor's secretary and a synth. I wanted to know my opinion of her. Uh. Oh, look at this. What a sweet looking town. It is quite big. I really love uh, what they've done with the place. Oh, hello. Mayor's in no mood to talk about any of this synth nonsense. Unless you're looking for a housing permit, I can't help you. Oh, so we could actually live here if we wanted to. We have one home available. It's in the center of town, right near the market. You can do whatever you like with the interior, and all the tools you need to make your own furnishings are provided at no extra charge. Uh, something wrong with your neck there? We could actually buy the house just regularly, but... I don't know. Tell me more about this house. The previous owner bought an adjacent warehouse and knocked down a few walls, so it's bigger than most. And he left behind his old tools, so you'll have everything you need to modify the inside however you see fit. There must be something wrong in her neck circuits there. She's definitely a synth. Uh, maybe. Let me think it over. Take all the time you need. Right. So, where's this mayor? I don't care if he's busy. Just be. No funny business. Be on the door. Got it. We can just go in. Sweet. Enjoy your stay in Diamond City. Now, excuse me. <laughs> mayor McDonough. Excuse me, but I'm very busy right now. It certainly seems like it. Busy looking out your Far too busy to window talk there. I'm the mayor, after all. <laughs> oh, you crack me up, buddy. He really doesn't sound like a mayor. He sounds like a pundit. We could just steal all this shit. You wanted to. Nobody sees us. But that's not fun style. He doesn't do that. At least not in buildings that are actually lived in by somebody. What's over here? <laughs> oh. For some reason, I already thought there was like a body in here. Never mind. That's a pretty nice statue, I must admit. And there's a giddy up buttercup. That fully assembled giddy up buttercup as well. I'm quite impressed. Okay, but we really can't do anything in here, so. Goodbye. Let's um, move our way back down and uh, enjoy this epic view once more. What's the... There needs to be like a, a trashy modifying way of saying epic. Hmm. Right, uh... Extra, extra. Is your neighbor really human? We have the exclusive. We're gonna talk to... Miss Piper. And that's the last thing we do in this uh, town, just so you know. That took us quite a long time, I'm sorry, but I, I really want to be as thorough as possible. 
And they really had some really nice, um, some really, really nice uh, characters in here, so I'm glad. You holding up, Blue? What? Why are you calling me that? Because you're a vault dweller? <laughs> I know you're not wearing the blue jumpsuit right now, but the pit boy and that fish out of water look. Dead giveaways. So here's the deal. I want hmm. an interview. Your life story in print. I think it's time Diamond City had a little outside perspective on the Commonwealth. You do that, and uh, I'll tell you what. I'll come with you. Watch your back while you get used to the world above ground. She wants an interview for in exchange for being my companion. I can, I could, I guess we can facilitate that. What kind of interview is this going to be? I ask you who you are, get your opinion on life out there, and maybe load up a few tough questions and keep it interesting. Hmm. What do you say? Like I said, she's trouble, but I'm gonna see how far I can go with her. All right, Piper. I'm if you know what I mean. Let's get down to business. So I know you're from a vault. How would you describe she is clever. time on the inside? Uh. The thing is, she's gonna print this, and uh, I don't know who the people are who kidnapped my son and shot my wife. So I don't think I wanna speak up. I couldn't hear you. <laughs> I don't think I wanna just um, you know tell it to everybody that I'm that I'm out now. You know, they might get suspicious. Um, I want to avoid the question. Let's just be as general as possible. Nothing out of the ordinary. Normalcy is a bit of a relative concept in the Commonwealth, but okay, I can work with that. She's so, not you've amused. Seen the Commonwealth, Diamond City. How does it compare to your old life? Uh. <laughs> That's not. You can't ask that as an interviewee. Uh, you're not asking questions. I think he kind of sucks. I think he sucks. You're all living in rusty shacks, killing each other. Oh my God, the smell. Okay, well, that's gonna be a fun one to quote. <laughs> now the uh, big question: Why come to Diamond City? You're looking for someone, aren't you? Oh dear. How does she know that? I think we only talked to the guard about it. Uh... You heard wrong. I'm not looking for anyone. Don't lie to me, Blue. This is your story. Don't you want people to know the truth? I don't actually. <laughs> I'm not. I'm... This is I need to really. No one else in Diamond City may care about the missing, but my paper does. You're just not gonna let me... You're just not gonna let me answer that. She's a tough one, I give her that, but... Okay then, next in line is this one. I lost family, okay? I'm trying to get one of them back. What's their name, Blue? Who are they? Jesus Christ! Just... <clears throat> Piper. <laughs> You I'm really grinding my gears here. Sean was kidnapped. He's not even a year old. You don't know that. A missing child. As heartbreaking today as it ever was. He could be two hundred years old if you. Do you suspect the institutes involved? For all you know. Well, the truth is, I have no idea. I don't know. No one ever does. That's what makes them so scary. For the last part of our interview, I'd like to do something different. I want you to make a statement to Diamond City directly. The threat of kidnapping is all but ignored in the Commonwealth. Everyone wants to pretend it just doesn't happen. What would you say to someone out there who's lost a loved one but might be too scared or too numb to the world to look for them? You know what? It's probably going to turn out that the whole settlement, all the people in there, are all sins thinking they're actual humans. That might be funny. 
Uh, Mind speaking up. Fun. We haven't really seen much of this character trait from him, but he can be pretty pretty ruthless. Ruthless. He's uh, he's trying to get his revenge more than anything. Responsible and make them pay. Simple as that. I'll take anger over apathy any day. Good quote. Thanks, Blue. That's everything. It's gonna take some time to put this all together, but I think your story is gonna give Diamond City plenty to talk about. Anyway, all right. I agreed to come with you, right? Watch your back. Just say the word when you're ready. I can't wait to see where the story goes next. Cool. So we got a new companion now, and we leveled up too. So uh, yeah, why don't you? join Piper and myself on our next quest in the next episode, huh? Let me know if there's anything I can do to lighten the load. Or, you know, if you need anything proofread. Yeah, she's gonna be really, really helpful. So, yeah. Take care and I'll see you next time.